Okay, so here's a very simple example uh, using the Doppler effect. If we have a vehicle that travels at 34 meters per second towards a factory whistle that has a frequency of 1,763 hertz, what is the frequency heard by the passengers? And they tell us, assume that speed of sound is 334 meters per second. So let's, uh, for, for the sake of this, just draw our our picture here we have our vehicle very basic very ugly little car inside the car we have some passengers okay and uh, they are traveling towards a factory these are factory okay very dull world everything is the same color okay but let's change the color of the whistle okay there's a factory whistle and it is emitting a sound that they eventually hear. They are traveling at a velocity towards the factory whistle, that's very important, towards the velocity of uh, the sound wave and they are also traveling, so they are, uh, it's traveling in the opposite direction as the sound wave is approaching them that's very important so they are traveling in the opposite direction as the sound wave is approaching them in other words the um, velocity of the wave we know is given here seeing the speed of sound is three three four meters per second while the velocity of the car is then not 34 but negative 34 meters per second because they are in the opposite direction this is the source right here okay that's the that's the source and uh, using the Doppler effect, we want to know what is the frequency heard by the passengers. So our formula that we want to uh, use as frequency observed is the velocity observed, which is C minus velocity of the listener, divided by, and then um, the velocity of the sound minus the velocity of the source multiplied by the frequency of the source. And here we have therefore 334, negative negative, since this is in the opposite direction as the, f uh, we always take the velocity, the direction of the sound as positive, okay, as it's going in all directions, okay, um, and we are approaching the source, so that would be negative, and therefore it makes this positive 34, divided by and then the velocity of the source uh, is zero but the velocity of sound is still 334 minus the velocity of the source which is zero uh, times the frequency which is 1763 1763 hertz and what do we get? well using our calculator we get 334 plus 368 that is our numerator denominator will simplify to simply 334 since we're not subtracting anything and this gives us our percentage okay remember what I mentioned in a previous video is that this part is the percentage of the original frequency that we hear. Since we're driving into the sound, we're going to hear more waves per second than if we were just standing still. Okay, so that it makes sense that the frequency that we hear, the percentage is greater. 1.1017. Okay, so about 110%, about 110% of so multiply with 1763 that gives me 1942.5 uh, let's make it 0 0.46 1942 comma 47 47 hertz okay and that is the frequency at which we will or the passengers at least, will hear the sound wave.